Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. D is three times as old as her nephew. Ten years ago, she was four times as old. How old is D now? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I will solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, let's take a look at the question before I show you the answer. D is three times as old as her nephew. 10 years ago, she was four times as old. How old is D right now? Well, let's go ahead and see the answer. The correct answer is the following. D is 90 years old. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you know how to solve a math word problem that involves age. And the way I'm going to solve this problem is by using algebra. Now, if I said this is an algebra word problem, a lot of people are like, oh, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I don't like algebra. My hair stands up when I hear the word algebra. Well, I specifically didn't mention the word algebra because I wanted you to try to solve this problem. And a lot of you may have uh, figured this out using another technique or some other creative method. But if you used algebra or some other uh, procedure or method, that is fantastic. And if you're totally lost, well, we'll get you looking like this in a jippy. Matter of fact, let's get into the solution right now. Okay, so D is as three times is three times as old as her nephew. Ten years ago, she was four times as old. How old is D now? Well, we're reading the problem again. And if you notice, I've read the problem at least three times. And this is a rule that you should follow. When you're dealing with any math word problem, whether it's an algebra word problem, geometry, doesn't make a difference. Read a problem at least three times. Make sure your brain has soaked in all the information and you truly understand the question. So we're looking for D's age right now. Okay, of course, we're talking about D and her nephew, and we're talking about now, and we're also talking about 10 years from now. So we need an approach, we need a strategy to solve this problem. So we need to kind of model this problem with some information or some sort of, um, you know, a visual way. And it's kind of hard to do this from a visual standpoint, but what we can do is use a variable. Now in algebra, there's different type of problems that come up all the time. An age type word problem like this is pretty common. So you can use tables, but you can just also just use a simple variable. So we're gonna let the variable X represent someone's age. Now whose age should we let X equal to? Should we uh, let it equal to D's age or maybe her nephew's age? And should we let it uh, this variable X represent the age 10 years ago or, 10, or uh, the current age? Well, you know, you kind of have to think about this, but if you really put some thought into it, it's easier to let X equal the nephew's age. Okay, and I'll show you why right now. All right, so we're going to let X, this variable, and remember in algebra, a variable like X just represents a, an unknown value. Of course, we're looking for both D's age, well, we're looking for D's age now, but we're also you know, going to end up finding out what the nephew's age is as well. It's just part of the prom. So we'll let X equal the uh, D's nephew's age right now. Okay, so if D's nephew's age is X, then D's age right now is 3X. Now, why is that? Because currently D is three times as old as her nephew. So if her nephew is X years old, then her age is 3X. Okay, so that is the first part of doing this problem, is just assigning a variable. But now that we have some variables assigned, we can't solve for this variable unless we build an equation, okay, an algebraic equation. And again, 
most algebra uh, word problems work pretty much the same way. So we're going to have to use the rest of this information in the problem to build an equation. And the information that we need to use is this part right here. 10 years ago, she was four times as old. Okay, so 10 years ago, she was four times as old as a nephew. So let's go ahead and build this equation right now with that information. So here we go. All right, so remember, D's current age is 3x, okay? So 10 years ago, she was 3x minus 10, right? So 10 is in years. So 3x minus 10 is how old D was 10 years ago. Now, how old, how old was the nephew 10 years ago? Well, remember, the nephew's age currently is x. So 10 years ago, he was x minus 10, okay? But remember, the problem says, let's go back to the problem. That's why you have to keep uh, continue to reread these problems. So 10 years ago, she was four times as old. Okay, so D was four times as old. So let's go back over to the problem. So that whatever the nephew's age was 10 years ago, if we multiply that by four, okay, that's going to be her age 10 years ago, all right? So this can be a little bit confusing, but this is why you have to practice uh, solving word problems. So if you were totally confused, if you're like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, I'm very bad at solving math word problems, but don't get discouraged. What you have to do is practice, 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 and you know, with time, you'll get the hang of this. But uh, really what you, or what, we, what you need to have um, is the skills uh, to actually apply, you know, the algebraic skills, and just kind of state it that way, to solve these equations. So here we have this equation, 3x minus 10 is equal to 4x minus 10. So we need to now be able to solve this equation. So hopefully you know how to do that. Of course, I'll show you exactly how to do this. But first, I'm going to show you this, which is a simple request to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support to continue to do these videos. I love teaching math. Uh, and right now, it's not looking so good in the world. You know, I continue to read, and maybe you've seen these uh, reports as well, is that math proficiency, math proficiency is going down, down, down. That's not good, okay? Because the, uh, really, the demand to, uh, you know, have analytical and technical skills, which, of course, you know, involve mathematics, is only going up. All right, so I'm trying to do my part, and my part is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable and comprehensive way. So please do not give up if you're struggling in math, and if you need help beyond this video in algebra or additional word problems, I have a ton of problems like this on my YouTube channel, but also you can check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description, and if you're going to subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So now we have to focus in on solving this equation right here. All right, so 3x minus 10 is equal to 4 times x minus 10. First things first, first we have to apply the distributive property right here. So we're going to take this 4, multiply by x, and multiply by 10. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing, you, know, you probably want to check out like my Algebra 1 course. Again, you'll find a link to that in the description below to how to, um, on how to solve linear equations. So now we have 3x minus 10 is equal to 4x minus 40. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. What I'm going to be doing is getting all the variables to the left and all our numbers to the right. I don't have to do it this way, but uh, this is probably the way that most uh, people would solve this problem. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. Remember the rule in algebra. Whatever you do from one, on one side of the equation, you, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it equally to both sides. All right, so now I'm going to add down in a column manner. So 3x minus 4x is a negative x. Negative 10 plus nothing is negative 10. So I have negative x minus 10 on the left-hand side. Positive 4x minus 4x is 0. So we don't have to write that down. And then negative 40 plus 0 is negative 40. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take the next step, which is to move our negative uh, 10 over to the other side. And that's going to be easy because all we're going to do is add 10 to both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I'm going to add down again in a column matter. So I get negative x plus nothing is negative x. Negative 10 plus positive 10 is 0. We don't have to write that. Negative 40 plus 10 is negative 30. Okay, so we're almost there. So here we have negative x is equal to negative 30. But we want to solve for x, so we need to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. So x is equal to 30. Okay, so 
Again, I didn't have to solve the equation in this specific way. There was kind of an easier way to solve it, but anyways, we just took the time to kind of walk through the steps on how to solve a linear equation, which you know, I think most people would have approached it this way. Okay, now what do we do with this answer? Well, we're not done, right? So we need to go back and review. Remember, in the beginning of this problem, we said that we're gonna let x equals, D, uh, equals D's nephew's age, uh, his current age right now. So D's nephew's current age is 30, and D's age, age is 3x, right? Remember, she is three times as old as her nephew, so that would be three times 30, which of course is 90 years old. Okay, so hopefully this made sense, and again, None of my videos are designed to make anyone feel bad, right? Uh, I think, you know, if you, you know, uh, watch a video like this, you're like, boy, you know, it's been a long time since I've done this. Well, for those of you that have been out of school and are interested in relearning algebra or math, check out my Math Skills Rebuild, of course. I'll teach you everything from basic math, algebra, geometry, even some trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics in that course. But if you happen to be in algebra, well, you, these are the type of problems that you definitely need to be able to solve. And I'll leave links to all my main algebra courses below to include pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two. And uh, if some of you out there that are in pre-calculus, you'll see a link to that course as well to include geometry, okay? But hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.